been waiting for? Everyone's favorite frat guy? <laughs> That's Smith! Woo! Cover the frog says, hi ho! <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for having me as the, the man of the hour. I appreciate you all. Uh, also, look at us. Look at all these lame, weird people. We look like we look like a band who goes from elementary school to elementary school talking about mental health. <laughs> Depression. Don't do it. I'm mad, and this is my crew. Don't do it, please. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, also, uh, let's play a fun little game. Who here doesn't play Magic the Gathering? <laughs> it's a trick question. We all do. Yay! <laughs> Yay. No one loves us. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I might as well start off with the first person, uh, the guy, and, you know, Cor. Cor, you're the reason why this whole thing started. We were at a board meeting, we were just chatting, like, how can we spice up this semester? And you were like, let's roast Matt Smith. So, Cor, you're the reason why we're doing this. So, if you hated this, this is all Cor's fault. <laughs> <laughs> boo and hiss, hiss and boo. But, if you had a good time, if you laughed, you'd cry, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, that'll come. Okay, Cor, you look like, you know, you look all cool and chill, but you also look at the same time, you look like you're the embodiment of, don't test me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you could literally be like, I literally can't, and then suddenly I have a chair up against my head. Uh, Cor, uh, if you don't know Core, he plays MMO RPGs like Smite, you know, fun games, you know, and uh, a very healthy, healthy game. You know, what I mean, a very healthy, healthy game. He's so he's so much fun to visit at his home, where you can hear the lovely sounds of the game, and also, of course, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> literally, Core's first base is literally calling you a dumbass. <laughs> 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 literally. Cord's personality is, I watch BoJack Horseman. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a joke, that's just the truth. <laughs> Literally, Cord, you are the, an actual tsundere. <laughs> if you watch anime, you know what I mean. Anyway, so, Cord, I might as well go up to your roommate now, Marshall. Marshall. Uh, actually, originally, we didn't plan on Marshall coming here because he had a shift for work. So, uh, my first bid for him is, uh, basically, you know, talking about it. So, <laughs> imagine he's not here, which I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved, we have lost a good friend. <laughs> His name is Marshall. He has been gone to the service industry. <laughs> he is now in that great big red lobster in the sky, <laughs> swimming with the shrimp and the biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all kidding aside, Marshall, uh, Marshall's, fate, Marshall's a passionate man of lore and history, which is literally another way of saying, reality could be more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. DMs D and D for God's sakes. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, that's another lame way of me thinking. What else should I do? Parker, I'm bad at segways. You're next, pal. <laughs> Parker, it's good. It's so good to see you. Uh, actually, I wasn't. Expecting you to come because uh, you know you're a busy man. You're uh, you know you're doing you're currently doing your capstone, and you're always playing Magic the Gathering. So <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. You know, actually, people make fun of him for it, but Parker is a genuinely intelligent man. I think he's one of the most intelligent guys I know. But 
<laughs> he has the vocal communication of a kindergartner. <laughs> Literally. Okay, we are going to have a conversation right now by just doing this. <laughs> We're going to get drinks later. <laughs> Get drinks later. All right, Parker, you are also dating Anna, which I have to say, Anna girl, how'd you pull that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, Parker, here's the thing though: you're tall, you're lanky, you're a little awkward. Take off those glasses, and then suddenly you're talking to Scooby Doo like, "White man, we gotta get out of here." <laughs> Okay, we have the one slip, we also have the Lorex. <laughs> His first major was journalism, but now recently he has gone into the English major. So he went from getting no money to getting no money and no respect as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honestly, Jake is actually legit. He's been working out. He's been taking care of himself, unlike all of us. <laughs> and so Jake is actually well built. So I can safely say he could beat all of us up. Which is why, after this show ends, he is going to kick my ass. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, he's going to scrape my ass because he's missing toes. <laughs> Alright. Ryan. Ryan. I'm so happy to see you. I'm glad you were able to come out of that home that you call the hippie bed. <laughs> Right, I was so worried, I thought the 60s were dead. <laughs> Seriously. You look like you're about to tell me how live they went. <laughs> Ryan, you look like you look like an NPC from a Tony Hawk game. And your only line is excellent. <laughs> now Ryan, uh, you know, I look at your lanky frame and I often wonder, is he okay? And then I go to your home, and then I see your cat, Indy, who's this big old boy. And I don't know why I said it like that, but... <laughs> but, I, but I've now come to the insinuation that Indy, Ryan's cat, has absorbed all of his nutrients. <laughs> absorbed all the, it's like the Matrix, like he's now his battery, and just like sucks it all out. <laughs> now, 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 who have I not done? I didn't know you guys were coming, so you don't get any. <laughs> Go roasting! <laughs> nah, I'll do a quick one. Uh, Kyle, uh, since I directed you in a, sh in a scene that involved you and your wife doing you know, a fun little romance thing, it was very hard to do because it's kind of hard to direct a romance scene when your actors are always going like... <laughs> Josh, I got nothing for you here from Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the reactions. Oh! <laughs> He's so creative. His name is Matt Smith. God. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> I love you too much. I can't say nothing. Alright. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna. Our lovely MC. Uh, Anna, you are our host and probably one of the best people I ever know. You know, you're smart, you're funny, you're even punctual because you say period every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't call you decisive because you dye your hair every two weeks. <laughs> and also, uh, 
also, uh, this is not a bit. Anna is from Bemidji. <laughs> and Anna, I would say you are, and Anna, you know, that's a fine town, okay? That's where my grandparents are from. So you're from a very awful place. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, it's been mentioned multiple times today, this evening, but uh, Anna does have a clothing brand. Ultra Mundane, look at these shirts. Yeah, look at these shirts. And, calm down. <laughs> and Anna has shirts. She sells. She makes money, I think. And then, so literally, what the hell is she doing here? <laughs> like with us, we're losers. What the hell are you doing? You're making money. Girl boss, more like girl buy. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, I may be the man of the hour, so, uh, you're like, what, you're gonna make fun of yourself? What are you, a narcissist? Yes, I am! Yeah. That's why we have all these lovely mirrors! <laughs> Matt Smith, you look like if the wind hit you, you would say sorry. <laughs> Matt Smith, you look like... <laughs> Nothing notable about you, buddy. <laughs> you look like someone hit the random button for a character generator, and they were like, eh. <laughs> and uh, also, a buddy of mine, uh, who is currently in L.A. for grad school, was like, hey, uh, Matt Smith, I have a few roasts for you. Uh, I would like to send them. And I was like, I'll use them. So, if Matt Smith had a drinking game, Take a shot every time Matt Smith says he's sorry. <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. And also, of course, the casual, what Matt Smith looks like. Matt Smith looks like Dustin from Stranger Things. Here is a picture. <laughs> that sounded so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Now you know what my parents feel like. Anyway! Oh, oh that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, folks, I can't think of uh, any better people to be made fun of, laugh with, uh, and just raise all kinds of heck around. So I thank you all so much. But mostly, thank you all so much for coming, even though you are the fools who are like, I think I got an hour to kill. Look at you. <laughs> but everybody, thank you so much. I hope you had a good night.